Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am The Sipping Tea, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Cold War AMX 13 SS 11 TCA. This is a Cold War premium light tank which can be found in Era 2. It has some very impressive stats and also some high ability to really dish out some damage. So, with that being said, let's get into it. So to start things off, um, as per usual, we'll start with the earn rate statistics for this premium tank. So, the silver earn rate is plus 55%, which isn't too bad at all. It will yield some good silver results if you do well in battle. Uh, the XP earn rate is a bonus 15% and so is the bonus crew XP earn rate. Ultimately, I would say that does make this tank potentially very, very good for earning silver. Um, as you will see later on in this video, um, it does have the ability to really dish out the damage, um, which of course yields a much higher silver rate. In terms of the cost of this tank, the default gold cost is 12,500, which in my opinion is a bit on the high side. Really, I see... Um, my personal opinion is that a tank should be not really any higher than 10,000 gold at the most. Um, it is a personal opinion, it's just how I feel about the gold prices of tanks. They can be quite expensive, but of course it's important to keep in mind that this is uh, a game, it's a hobby. It's a, the main hobby for a lot of people. So that amount of money to pay, let's say once a month or so, uh, perhaps isn't anything like as much as a different type of hobby might cost you uh, or indeed going to the pub every weekend that would be significantly more expensive than the uh, the equivalent of twelve and a half thousand gold moving on from that we can take a look at the gun so this tank is uh, another tank that has the multi-weapon system meaning that uh, it does have ATGM so it does have missiles and of course it has a main cannon as well which is an auto loader so what this means is that the uh, the two guns will reload simultaneously as opposed to uh, individually um, so you can fire, let's say, for instance, the main cannon and completely use up your clip of shells in that and then immediately switch over to your missiles and they will be uh, there and waiting for you until that clip has been used up. Um, in which case, of course, you switch over to the main gun, which will have finished reloading. So without any more waffle on that, penetration, standard shells, 212 millimeters going into the premium rounds it's 231 millimeters both have 180 damage now that of course isn't particularly good there's no doubt about it uh, however you will be able to go through the side of most tanks in era 2 i suppose the fv4211 as ever will provide a bit of a challenge and possibly the um the T-72AV, but then they are two of the toughest tanks in the era, so that's almost an exception um, for, for any light tank, really. Um, so, impressive gun statistics there, otherwise, given the amount of damage you can throw down, because the main cannon, uh, which is 75mm, that does have six shots in a clip. Now the uh, default clip reload time is 9.5 seconds and the intra clip reload is 2 seconds so you can fire off those 6 rounds relatively quickly um, and if you are doing 180 damage per shell and if you do manage to pen each time that is a reasonable amount of damage. You do also get 60 rounds in, um, in total on the tank. The rate of fire by default is 18.46 rounds per minute, which, uh, yeah, that's that's quite quite reasonable. That does seem to be uh, the main cannon does seem to be reasonably balanced in that regard. 
the accuracy is 0.32 so not the most accurate um, gun in the world it's not appalling especially if you were to buff it with the uh, appropriate crew skills um, you know equipment and consumables gun depression is only six degrees so that's not really that great that's sort of uh, getting into the realms of the Chinese um, Cold War tanks in actual fact so six degrees not so great definitely not a ridgeline fighter and uh, gun elevation is 13 degrees which um, is also relatively um, restrictive as well I would say moving on to the ATGMs now uh, as I briefly mentioned uh, earlier you do get four ATD, ATGMs in this uh, clip it's a total of eight rounds in total so two clips um, in total there the uh, total reload time of one clip is 38 seconds so reasonably long um, but of course can be brought down by the same means as the main cannon um, and the intra clip reload is 15 seconds so again reasonably long on that though I suppose if you are to use um, let's say you wanted to fire off two missiles and not switch back to the main cannon and you're relatively far from the enemy the travel time if you're quite far away from your target will be uh, enough so that uh, your next missile will have uh, probably got about halfway or so on the reload before your missile has hit the target uh, or in my case missed the target as you will see in this footage um, that's really all um, all there is to say regarding the um, the missiles for the quantity you get and so on uh, the penetration value is 660 millimeters with a damage of 1210 that is really good really really good for era 2 so uh, yeah this tank is superb for the missiles it really really is um, very comparable to the Arctic Hiss uh, in some respects at least um, the fact that it has four missiles in a clip uh, really very very good uh, so yeah brilliant gun all round I would say what it doesn't have quite in the uh, main cannon I think it makes up for with the uh, with the missiles moving on then to uh, HP 2300 HP a still concealment of 0.45 so uh, reasonably uh, reasonably good at camouflage you put the appropriate crew skills and equipment on there and consumables as well in form of smoke and uh, that will be even better still vision range is 540 so not too too bad either you'll get um, a reasonable a reasonable amount of spotting damage on this tank I would say moving on then to uh, mobility and the engine in general so the maximum forward speed is 65 kilometers an hour and the reverse maximum speed is 25 kilometers an hour. The fire chance of the engine is just 12%. So a little bit higher than, well I see the average is 10%, so a little bit higher than that. Perhaps uh, negligible, so whether or not you'd even choose to run a fire extinguisher. Um, obviously it's entirely up to you but probably not I would say on this tank maybe if you wanted to err on the side of caution you would go with um, the appropriate commander skill in, in order to reduce the uh, likelihood of that fire really taking hold the reason I use the premium smoke here is because it does enhance the tanks uh, natural camouflage factor and of course you can pop that smoke and get out of a bad situation uh, and hopefully come out relatively unscathed um, and the premium repair kit which as I've mentioned in previous videos is now becoming more of a, um, a standard um, standard requirement for me uh, mostly I've got that on this one uh, just so that if the ammo rack does get damaged I can uh, repair it and not have a absolutely ludicrous reload time on the missiles and 
well indeed it wouldn't be very good on the main cannon either and the ability also just to um, frivolously repair tracks as well um, without having to worry about using your only repair kit is uh, very useful very handy so with the equipment uh, using uh, I use on this tank improved ventilation vertical gun stabilizer and a camo net now uh, the camo net because the tank already has really good um, camouflage factor um, I've decided to use that to reduce it even more I can say that um, it, with the camo net and the smoke combined this tank does have a still concealment of 176 meters so that's that's pretty good um, if we're if we're honest um, so yeah that's um, definitely worthwhile in my opinion I do like to have the vertical gun stabilizer um, just because I like to be able to have that improved accuracy for the main cannon it's not I think the most accurate gun in the world without this um, piece of equipment so uh, it's what I would recommend but uh, naturally it's personal preference personal play style and indeed you could switch out for something else um, maybe to boost your uh, mobility a bit and the vents well really reference what I've already said uh, the vents more or less improve every aspect of the tank ever so slightly uh, so in all I think that is quite worth it in summary I would say that this tank is very much worth your attention it is yet another very very powerful light tank in era 2 Cold War um, I personally think that era 2 is really the uh, the, the position in Cold War where the light tanks are extremely powerful. Um, you have some good ones in Era 1, uh, the British line, the, uh, the FE-107 for instance, it's like a gnat, it's really small and really quick um, and relatively hard to see sometimes. Um, and then in Era 3, I personally am just not really fond of those, um, of those light tanks at the moment at least. Um, purely because the heavy tanks, a lot of other tanks actually seem to be quicker than the light tanks which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me um, and otherwise the light tanks penetration just seems to be a little bit lacking by comparison to um, to some of the others uh, but I don't really want to get too, too much into that in this video as it's not about that um, but yeah, in summary, like I said, the AMX-13 SS-11 TCA Whew, is uh, a bit of a mouthful as a tank name goes but nonetheless very much worth your money so that's it for this video uh, it's uh, yet another premium tank in Cold War if you would like me to cover any particular tank uh, next then please do leave a comment below uh, I will read it I read every single comment uh, I react to every single comment giving it a thumbs up and little heart icon as well just to show that I have actually seen it um, as ever please do tell your friends about my channel if they're otherwise not aware ask them to subscribe if they like it uh, and indeed if you're not subscribed uh, please do it's free uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button likewise the like button if you liked it um, once again the briefest of mentions the uh, link to my patreon page is in the description I don't get any income from these videos so if you can support me uh, and would like to then please do go ahead and click that link and any amount that you wish to give you can be it one dollar or one million dollars yes why not uh, yeah go ahead and click that if you're uh, able to do so and willing to do so but with that all being said that is it for today thank you ever so much for watching and i'll catch you next time